How is everyone doing? Welcome to VR Friday. Now, sorry if I look a little bit dead inside. I have my coffee. A lot of stress going on right now. About our summer trip, summer vacation, there's like a very slight possibility Ireland is going to cancel all flights. And if they do that, I'm... I, I might genuinely, I don't know what I'm going to do. So as you can probably imagine, quite a lot of stress going down, but we're going to plow through it. I love these videos, so they're kind of like my getaway from the stress. So let's move on. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to run Minecraft VR on your Oculus Quest. And why all the Minecraft content all of a sudden? Well, that's simply because we made a Minecraft server and I think it only fits to help you guys get on it in the po best possible way. Before we begin, I want to make sure everybody knows you do need some sort of gaming PC for this. This is not Quest Standalone. I'm still trying to find a way to get Minecraft Pocket Edition in VR. You can get Minecraft Pocket Edition on the Quest, but it's not in VR, it's just a 2D app. For now, that's not a thing, but I'm saying gaming PC, I'm not saying you need a VR ready gaming PC because I did this on a non VR ready gaming PC on like crappy specs, but it could run Minecraft. So I was like, okay, it can run Minecraft. Does that mean it can run Vivecraft? And it ran it. So I'm gonna say if you have a PC that can run Minecraft in general, try it and it might work. So for today's video, we are going to be using virtual desktop. We could be using ALVR because I was told by my Discord server that I was using the official version of ALVR, which is not supported anymore. But apparently somebody has remade ALV ALVR and made it work. So apparently there is a new version. So that's the one you could be using if you want to use ALVR on the quest and it works perfectly fine, apparently. So I have been told, which is what I love about you guys. You guys always tell me if I'm wrong and you're very respectful about it. So thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going to be using virtual desktop just because I know it works and um, no mess setting it up or anything. Okay, I guess it's time to show you how to do this, how to set this up, how to get everything running. Let's get into that. I'm just going to have some coffee first. Oh, oh, that is good coffee. That is really good coffee. So let's move into business. So first order of business, if you haven't done it yet, you will need Java. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna get Minecraft downloaded and installed, of course, onto your computer. But considering you're here, you probably have that done. So that's not very hard. Just go onto the Minecraft website and download it. I'm not gonna waste your guys' time with that. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go onto the Vivecraft website, link down in the description below, click up to downloads right up here, scroll down, and select right here, Vivecraft 1.12.2. And that is right here. As you can see, we have Vivecraft. You can also throw this on with mods. It's really, really simple. So then you select the non-VR version or the VR version. Of course, we're doing VR today, so we're gonna use the VR version. And it's gonna download into your bottom left here. So you just click on that, run anyway, because uh, Windows Defender pretty much never works. Then of course here you can select different things. For example, you can have it modded if you want. Install my Vivecraft with Forge, you can do that. Or you can do vanilla. But we're gonna go with Forge, just like so. And we are going to make sure it is the newest version. Yes, it is. So then what you wanna do is you just click install. Uh, close Minecraft launcher before proceeding. We have that done, just like that. Restart Minecraft and select Vivecraft Forge 1.12.2. So of course, if you don't have any mods installed, this is also just going to be as if it was pure vanilla, but I have a bunch of mods installed, so this should just work as if it was just standard Forge. So we're pretty lucky there. Vivecraft have made it pretty simple. So next thing you want to do is you want to grab your quest because that's all the work done on the PC. So I'm going to power on the quest. I'm going to turn on the Minecraft launcher. Uh, I'm going to go into installations. I always like to give it a little bit more RAM and if you guys are joining the server, you will also need to give it a little bit more RAM. Uh, four gigs is actually perfect. It set that automatically. Uh, four gigs is pretty much the minimum for playing on the Quest anyway. So if you guys don't have four gigs of RAM or you're running a laptop, you might have a hard time. I'd say try it anyway. Let me know how it goes. Because as I said, I did do this on a pretty crappy, it was like Core i3. It was a Core i3 6100 uh, CPU and then it was like built-in graphics and it went so let's power this beast on Okay, why am I oh, 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 oh the connect is giving me let's open up virtual desktop blah, 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 blah. Uh, Let's select our computer or if you were using ALVR, you know, you just do everything to do with ALVR uh, Now let's launch Steam VR and uh, now on your PC. We are just going to click play. That's it Once you see Steam VR launched 
All you do is you click play and it should launch on your Oculus Quest right in front of your very eyeballs. Oh yeah, it's gonna load in all the mods now. This is gonna take a while. Okay, this isn't going to work. Of course, again, if you guys want to do this and not join the server perfectly fine, this would speed through then. It wouldn't take this long. We just have a little bit of mods on the server, so. And surprisingly, I forgot to flash iron chests. Like, that's like one of the most popular mods. I don't know how I did that. We'll add it later on. Okay. Oh my god, I'm in. I can see it too. I have my little hands. Hands right here. Oh my god. Let's just click uh, multiplayer. Oh, I'm standing in the wrong place. Guys, I'm gonna switch to the quests mic. Let us join the world. System UI has stopped. Okay, not that I care. I just wanna join this Minecraft multiplayer world. <laughs> and here we are. Oh my God. So guys, this is the server. Uh, I just revealed the place where my base is, but that, that doesn't matter. Nobody cares about that. Okay, so this is trippy AF. Like you, you can set teleportation, which is allowed on the server just because people might wanna use it for this exact purpose. Okay, you used to be able to switch taskbar like this. I'm not sure how, what button is what. Okay, let's go. Let's go on a trip. Let's go on a trip. Let's go. Oh, this is trippy. This is really trippy. I'm going to need to play around with uh, the button remapping later on. There's, ev you can remap everything. It's great. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. She worked hard on this. It would be a shame if somebody, oh, burnt it down. How do I, I, I have an idea. How do you shift in the game? Shift IRL. No? Okay, let's go into options. Let's actually change a few things. All right, guys, you want to see something really cool. This is how you swim. And that's how you dive. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. It's a big fish. Come here, big fish. Da, da, big fish. Oh, it's a do oh, okay. In that case, I can't kill it. It's a dolphin. And we, we, don't, we don't kill dolphins. That's, that's like animal cruelty. If it was a big fish, it'd be fine. But we don't kill dolphins. Hey, I don't know how to... <laughs> Whoa. Da. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Da. No. No. I'm going to die. That's it. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, God. That's it, like, yeah. It works really, really well. It's super cool. This is what I've been playing on for the past few days. It's great. I definitely recommend it, and you're gonna have a lot of fun. But uh, we're gonna do the outro now, because that made me absolutely... I just realized none of that was actually recorded on the... on the other camera, which is... sad, because... I had a lot of stuff going for me there. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. Let's, uh, let's go back out there and fight that skeleton. So guys, this is how you sw- Okay, no. No, 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 Hey, ha, ha, ha. What you gonna do now? Let's go for a swim, you guys. Let's do the thing that I know everyone wants me to do. Let's go break a tree. I can see you. I love this part. I will come at you. Do. Hey, guys, this is where we end the video. <laughs> Okay, you guys, my camera died like three times during that, so I don't know how much of that actually got recorded. The most important part is, I believe most of that got recorded on the PC, so you could see how freaking amazing it is. I mean, swimming like this, super intuitive. Whoa. Of course, hitting trees like this, hitting mobs like that, really, really cool. It's what I'm using to play on the server for the past few days, so... Really, really cool there. I definitely recommend trying it out. No, 100%, even if you don't have a VR-ready PC, do try it out, because as I said, I did try it out on a non-VR-ready PC, and it did work. Definitely worth a try, just I'm not sure how hopeful I would be with laptops, but other than that, really, really cool. And if you do have a VR-ready PC, if you have a gaming PC, and you have an Oculus Quest, now you have a really cool way to play Minecraft in VR wirelessly and maybe join the server. Really, really cool. I really hope you guys like this video, that it helped you out, that you found something that you were looking for. Hopefully you guys don't hate me for this not being standalone on the quest. I would also love it to be standalone on the quest, but unfortunately we don't have that yet. Uh, hopefully it comes soon, but uh, for now you do need a PC to power it. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too. 
but make sure to tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of this community, it's growing super fast, so make sure to follow me on my social media here and here. Join us on Discord, where we have a lovely community and we talk about literally anything. Join us on Reddit, where I want to see my face getting memed to hell. And if you want to see future videos, I upload tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if you are not yet subscribed, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace.